Universities are supposed to deliver research, teaching and community service. This project, which is a project involving the construction and testing of an electric vehicle, um, it started with our own university, Boto University, um, funding us to produce a, um, a project which will help us to become better, to make our students perform better. With this money we had to do a concept uh, and our concept was to produce something which will uh, not only teach students but also be useful for sustainability uh, of the country. Um, we started off with a concept that uh, we said, okay, this is just to do what we call proof of concept, which means we just want to see something that moves. But we developed further than that. Both University is strongly committed to doing our part to reducing our impact on the planet. Our vision is to be a thought leader a leader in this field to show the way and how sustainability can be part and parcel of any institution's journey. The name of the car is uh, Genius, um, which is a Greek word for engineer, or somebody very clever. So I say to my students, if you are in engineering department, you are a very clever person. We went about this project over a period of two years. What it has um, is an electric battery, which we sourced locally. It's got a controller and an electric motor, which we sourced actually from China, a company called DMK Motors. And also, it has a solar panel on the roof, which gives us the possibility of extending the range. So those are some of the, the features on it. It's got a very strong uh, tube construction. We designed also such that to be able to view uh, the environment around you uh, in a sort of uh, a touristic uh, environment, you'll be able to do that. Our idea was that it will teach them um, not only engineering theory, but also some of the practice that is required, uh, which other students maybe would not be able to, to know. This project enables us to learn and gain more practical experience in the aspect of electrical engineering, or I can say engineering at all, uh, like fabrication, uh, machining, uh, welding and wiring. I learned teamwork since I was working with some of my colleagues. There were four of us who we were working in the electric vehicle project. I was part of the welding. We did welding which was assembling some of the components of the car. We will be able to study ways of charging these cars because the infrastructure uh, for charging these vehicles is going to be important because uh, electric uh, vehicles uh, will run out of uh, battery power after some many kilometers, yes. But you need to have that infrastructure in place. We value starting sustainability also in our curricula. Uh, so we already teach uh, things like energy systems, uh, but for this car, we want to teach them also a technology which involves the fourth uh, industrial revolution. Uh, so that's also built into every item that we what is uh, every item that is part of this electrical car. Control systems, uh, networking, and of course uh, the solar energy. So this uh, is a deliberate attempt, attempt we've done with this car. We build sustainability into it. We know that electrical cars are the cars of the future. The various initiatives that both University has partaken in. The first is reducing our water consumption by over 75% by replacing old taps with modern taps and by installing water-saving toilet mechanisms across campus. This was also done through education of our student and staff community here on campus to ensure that they understand the impact that water conservation can have. The second initiative we did, and this started in 2019, was the installation of a solar photovoltaic cells on our rooftops. We currently have a system of almost half a megawatt of production, and this helps to generate 
up to 80% of our power through renewable resources. The third initiative is to reduce the amount of plastic and paper we use on campus. For years, Booth University has already been a digitally transformed institution. And part of that digital transformation is reduction of the paper that we use within the institution. We've also tried to reduce single-use plastics, including plastic water bottles at events and at various different uh, places on, on campus.